Hey everybody, I'm Sigari. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make diamonds out of appetite. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you people are thinking, how Sigari do you do that? Because that seems ridiculous. Appetite is an extremely common forestry item that's found all over the place and diamonds are only found between levels eight and 16. So, how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you. Come on everybody, and we're gonna go on today's block project. All right, so first of all, let's figure out what mods you actually need to have installed to make this work. Industrial Craft 2, Thermal Expansion 3, Mine Factory Reloaded, Applied Energistics, the first version, Mechanism, Forestry, and Advanced Solar Panels. Those mods will allow you to turn Appetite into Diamonds, and I think that's pretty exciting. Now, I'd just like to do a quick side note for anybody that's wondering. You actually do not need Appetite for this. That's right. I choose to use Appetite because it speeds up the process and gets me diamonds faster. So please bear in mind that this is actually a project showing power into diamonds, not so much fertilizer or Appetite into diamonds. But at any rate, we're pulling its strings here. So let's get started. So what I have here is a basic factory that I made just to make diamonds. And we are at my little base. All right, so we've got a lever and we've got some igneous extruders, crushers, pulverizers, macerators, compressors, and this thing, whatever that is. All right, so come on over and I'll show you guys. Now what I've done, I have cut away my buildings so that you guys can actually see on the inside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow along and I'm gonna show you guys how everything is done. So first of all, let's get to some of the actual inner workings of this project. Okay, so just to let you guys know, just to start here, I am using Mechanism's basic universal cables to hook everything up. They are incredible. Once you use them, I promise you no other cable will be nearly as interesting to you anymore. Not even glass fiber, not even redstone energy conduits. These cables are OP. I'm telling you, they're serious. They're easy to make and they're awesome. Now, because I've got many different mods as you guys saw a few minutes ago, you can see these cables hook up into anything and will provide power. They're hooked into macerators, they're hooked into induction furnaces, they're hooked into pulverizers. They fit in everything. So once you've got those, you're pretty much set to go on all of your power needs. All right, so let's check this out here. This is the base floor, all right? Our power system is as follows. Power, in this case, a tesseract from another power source, is fueling a lava fabricator, all right? And that pumps lava into this item duct here. And we've got an aqueous accumulator, which is pumping water also into this igneous extruder to make obsidian. Okay, these igneous extruders up here are all making cobble. And just so you guys can see what I'm talking about here, let's go upstairs and take a look. All right, so we've got these six igneous extruders here. So we got one, and then we got four making cobble. Okay, and then from there, everything else is powered just normally. All right, so let's start. Now that we have a little bit of basic infrastructure and power set up, let's start from the beginning. All right, so we've got that appetite. That appetite comes from everywhere. It comes from a quarry, it comes from mining, it comes from you scraping the ground with your shovel, and hey, look, appetite. It comes from everything, that's right. Here it is, appetite, it's, it's good stuff. All right, so this is a cyclic assembler from TE3. All right, what this does is we take sand and appetite and it turns into fertilizer and I will guys show you guys the recipe for that so we're gonna type in fertilizer and if we see right here two pieces of sand and a piece of appetite turns into eight fertilizer which is fantastic and fertilizer gets used here in this forestry or I'm sorry in this MFR tree farm okay so we've got a planter here which is loaded up with birch saplings okay the saplings get planted by the planter down there and then they get harvested by the harvester after being fertilized with all the appetite, or the fertilizer, sorry. Okay, once they come into here, our chest has two different item ducts. All right, this item duct says birch wood will go whitelisted this way into this induction furnace. Other saplings, which are whitelisted to go down here, will go back into the planter, okay? Now, what are we doing with all this uh, wood? We're putting it in an induction furnace. An induction furnace is one of the fastest ways to make anything. I, it's just incredible. Once this thing gets up to full heat, it's crazy. Also, the heat is off because there is no power. However, 
once you start, uh, it is important to note that if you throw a redstone torch or some other lever next to it, it will always be on so long as it has power. So that is really important to remember. Keep your induction furnaces turned on, people, because when they have to heat up, they take forever. It's a really slow process. Okay, from the induction furnace, you get charcoal, all right? And charcoal, if you remember, was the second step on our board here, charcoal. All right, so we'll get some charcoal from that, and then the Emmy will suck it up from right, let's see, yeah, the Emmy will suck it up from the import bus, and it'll suck up stacks. All right, once we've got charcoal going out, we come over to here, ta-da! All right, charcoal gets pushed into this export bus, Charcoal, all right, moving single items at a time, don't need to move stacks. And we're putting this into Advanced Solar Panels Molecular Transformer. This is a cool block. This is actually one of my favorite blocks. I don't even use it that much, but for this alone, it's worth it. What we're doing is we're taking 60,000 EU, uh, which is raw power, and we're turning charcoal into coal. Okay, because charcoal is just a base fuel. It's not actually used to make anything, mostly, except for steel. Uh, but charcoal can be turned into coal, and coal can be turned into diamonds. All right, I'm sure that some of you guys, when you were kids, you might have asked your parents or your friends, hey, you know, I hear that coal can turn into diamonds, so let's go barbecue some wood, and let's turn that charcoal into diamonds. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that way. There's not the carbon structure there that is present in coal to turn your coal into or to turn your charcoal into a diamond. So we have to do some Minecraft magic to make charcoal turn into coal to turn into diamonds. All right. So let's check out what we got going on here. All right. So once we've got our coal, we're going to put our coal into a macerator. Okay, the macerator with these overclocking upgrades and this transformer upgrade because we are running a lot of power through it. Uh, power is 86 EU a tick. It can handle up to 512. More on that later. Uh, this macerator will turn coal into coal dust. And as you can see here, we've got this coal dust. All coal dust is is coal or a block of coal if you really wanted to. Uh, macerated into coal dust. Once we have that coal dust, we come over here to the cyclic assembler. And you'll see that we're making a coal ball. And that's what it looks like right there. Okay. A coal ball is made from eight coal dust and one flint. Sigari, how do you get flint? Well, I'm sure that you guys have noticed that when you're digging or when you're mining or something like that, you will come across some gravel that just falls on top of your head and it sucks. Well, if you've ever, you know, dug at it to get out, sometimes you'll notice that gravel will yield you a piece of flint. So I said to myself, huh, how can I make gravel reliably give me flint and the answer is simple use a pulverizer okay so we've got this pulverizer here that will turn uh, gravel wow I can't spell that will turn gravel into flint and as you can see right here gravel into flint but Sigari where are you getting all this gravel like you can't seriously be mining gravel and just gravel for days not a gravel beach not Level 10 in the mines, we're actually using an igneous extruder. That's right. Your everyday rock formation device is now making us cobblestone into flint. Not cobblestone into sand, cobblestone into flint. That's right. And how we do this is we use uh, mechanisms crusher. This is an awesome block that has all sorts of cool recipes. Uh, notably, though, one of the best parts of it is it will turn cobblestone into gravel. So unlike the pulverizer from Thermal Expansion 3 that turns cobble into sand. Let's see if we can find it here. Somewhere. There it is. Cobblestone into sand with a side effect of gravel. All right. We're skipping that all together and we're just making straight gravel. All right. So let's show you guys a little bit of basics here on how that's all wired up. All right, so we've got this, which is actually an obsidian pipe, so ignore these right now. Okay, this igneous extruder and this igneous extruder go into this mechanism crusher. All right, it's making cobblestone into gravel, which is then moved with the redstone uh, ignored item duct into this pulverizer, which will then turn gravel into flint. Okay, from there, the flint will travel into this item duct and into this chest, which stores all the flint. 
Okay. It's also hooked up to an ME storage bus just because honestly I don't want Flint in my in my drives and it's fine if this just stores up on Flint. Don't don't overburden your drives. There's no reason to. Anyway, with this storage bus, all right, the Flint is then sent back to the ME. Okay. Or well, it thinks it's in the ME, right? Okay. So now we've got Flint and we've got coal dust and we're going to make a coal ball. So how this works, this is a little tricky and let's actually go to sleep here so that I can demonstrate this in a better light because it's kind of dark outside and this is survival so I'm not able to just, you know, quickly show you. Okay, so here we go. So right here is the cyclic assembler that is making our coal ball. Okay, we've got level emitters which are hooked up in a very fancy way. We've got two level emitters here. All right, this level emitter right here is connected to this chess pipe, all right? This pipe has a whitelist for flint and a redstone control on high, meaning that the redstone signal from the ME level emitter must go off in order for it to send one unit of flint into the cyclic assembler, okay? And that level emitter will trip when eight coal dust have been crafted. So when there are eight coal dust inside the ME system, this will turn on for maybe one or two ticks, however long the level emitter turns on. It's long enough. Similarly, this level emitter will go off when eight coal dust have been stored in the ME. And this ME interface right here is set to craft coal eight coal dust, and that will move into the cyclic assembler. That's pretty cool. So once we've got our coal ball, the coal ball will come out of this item duct, which is just set to ignore redstone, and it will get put into this chest where there is a import bus which will suck the coal balls into the ME, where they will then go back to the ME, which is over here. Once our coal ball is in the ME, we are gonna put it in this compressor. And a compressed coal or a, com a coal ball will turn into a compressed coal ball, which is pretty cool. So coal ball into compressed coal ball. And a compressed coal ball can be put into this cyclic assembler. All right. Similarly here, we've got the same kind of level emitter setup. I was able to do this one a little bit more neatly because of all the pipes over there. But anyway, what this cyclic assembler makes is a coal chunk. Okay. Now a coal chunk is made from one obsidian, which you saw over here, we were making obsidian out of these two things, out of these two igneous extruders, and we are throwing it into here. All right, and we've got here, eight compressed coal balls will go into the cyclic assembler when the ME level emitter sees there are eight coal balls ready to go. Similarly, we've got our obsidian stored in this deep storage unit right here, and the ME level emitter will go off when it says, you know, hey, eight coal balls, and then it will pass one unit of obsidian whoops, into the cyclic assembler and it'll make a coal chunk. Okay, now what are coal chunks for? I am so glad you asked. A coal chunk, if you guessed it, you are right on, makes a diamond. That's right, one coal chunk through a compressor makes a diamond. It's fantastic. Okay, and then we'll show you guys the workings of all this system. This is pretty crazy. So you guys initially were probably wondering how this all worked anyway. Well, I'm here to show you. These are the macerators that make the coal dust. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a export bus that exports coal into this pipe, round robin, so we get double production. All right, each macerator will get a piece of coal and then it will move the coal dust out here into this chest into an import bus, which just sucks it back into the ME. All right, right here is where we make our coal ball, our, I'm sorry, our compressed coal ball, okay? And this is hooked into the same chest just because honestly they can both go this way, that's fine. And then they go into the chest to get sucked back into the ME. Then we've got here, uh, oh, right here, this is actually how the coal balls get into the compressor to make the compressed coal balls and then they go out here. Over here, we've got a precision export bus, okay, which specializes just coal chunk kind of like this one specializes just coal ball. So a coal chunk goes into this chest and then it gets pushed in round robin into a compressor to make a diamond. All right, once we've got the diamond moved in, 
The diamond will go into the deep storage unit and be forever happy. Okay. And then we've got this ME storage bus, which actually should be configured to store a diamond. So I'm actually going to do that really quick. And I've got one thing to fix with a bucket of water. And then I am going to show you guys what it takes to make this happen. All right. So let's uh, head on over here. And we'll get started. So, let me fall down here. I accidentally moved some water, which would mess that up. But now we've got full water. Okay, we're going to set this storage bus to keep a diamond, which is good. And now we are ready to go. So, everybody ready with me? Alright, we're going to be using our wireless redstone. You do not need to use wireless redstone for this mod, but I did it because it's really convenient. Okay, that's why it's not necessary for this mod to work. But it is a cool, it's a cool feature nonetheless. All right. So I'm gonna turn this on, and this baby is gonna rip. Here we go. All right, everything started turning on. So what we're gonna see now is we're gonna see the crusher is making some gravel, which gets sucked out into the pulverizer. All right, and it's gonna make flint. So give it just a moment here. All right, that flint is getting sucked into that cyclic assembler. These macerators here are making that coal dust, right? And so we're waiting here, and pretty soon, in just a moment, we're going to see that cyclic assembler put the two items in here, and it's going to make that coal ball. Give it just a moment, and we'll see the items pop in here. Oh, you know what, actually? We're waiting on charcoal, so it's gonna take a minute. So let's actually start at the very beginning, hey? All right, birch wood is being pumped into our induction furnace where we're getting charcoal, all right? The charcoal, there we go, I just saw it. I just saw it make one there. So right now we're just, we're just waiting, so check this out, guys. That's your coal ball right there. It's gonna go in soon. This is actually pretty, in, in, in all honesty, this is a pretty low-tech build. Uh, I'm just really happy that I was able to put this together and make it happen. And man, let me tell you, those mechanism crushers are extremely loud. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get old listening to the crunch crunch. Okay, so anyway, it'll light up. I guarantee you that it's doing its job. It's just taking its sweet time. Okay, so here we can see the charcoal is being made into coal and this is actually what's taking the time for some reason this is actually throttled pretty hard so that is actually what is taking so long we're making that coal dust and then every eight coal dust we will get one unit of coal ball so remember it takes 64 coal Six, 64 coal has got to be produced from here. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I am actually going to stoke our system with a little bit of inventory just to speed this process up a bit. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get some coal. Uh, block of coal. We're going to take this and we're just going to make some coal really fast just to speed things up. Alright, there we go. And let's see what else. Let's see, that is actually it. This is the only way that I can really speed this up. Alright. So, 80. Charcoal is on high production. And that's easily made. Uh, remember, this is going to be your, your band, your uh, bottleneck is the production of coal. Because it is pretty expensive. Okay, and there you go. You just saw that thing run. It turned colors. Anyway, eventually, we'll have enough coal balls to make a coal chunk. Okay, once we have that, then they will be put into, you can see the coal ball here is being made into a compressed coal ball. Okay, there's that compressed coal ball and it gets sucked out. All right, the cyclic assembler is waiting for eight compressed coal balls so it can make its coal chunk. Okay, so we're just waiting on that time right now. Let's go check and see how many Compressed coal balls we've actually got. I'm sorry, I kind of got to go all over the place here. So we'll check compressed. Oh, we've got seven. Okay, well, it's almost time, guys. So let's uh, 
Let's come over here and watch. All right, so the cyclic assembler is waiting for those eight compressed coal balls. And they'll just pop in here when it's time. You'll see a piece of obsidian come in, and then the coal balls will come in. And we'll be ready to rock for a diamond. We're still waiting. Just be patient, guys. This takes time. The first couple of uh, first couple ones will be slow because your induction smelt your induction furnace is still warming up. You can hear that tree getting chopped down. You can hear the macerators and the compressors all working really hard to make your diamond. I, this is kind of fun actually, you've got, it, it feels like a factory in here with all these sounds, you know, the immersion factor is very real. Okay, so we're not quite there, for some reason it is going really slow. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I just saw that light up, and you know what that's making? That is making us Oh, wait, nope, sorry. <laughs> this was, uh, I, I was not actually planning for this to go from zero to one, but I guess we're seeing just how slow it goes. All right, here we go. There's the compressed coal ball. That compressed coal ball is number eight. It's going to get thrown into the cyclic assembler, along with the piece of obsidian. There they go, and there was our coal ball. And then the coal, the, or I'm sorry, the coal chunk is going to get thrown into one of these two compressors. Who will the lucky winner be? There it is. And our compressor is finally compressing our coal chunk very slowly. <laughs> and we will have our first diamond. Almost done. Almost done. And there she is. And that diamond gets sucked away into the ME. And we will see that we have successfully turned Appetite into a diamond. Everybody, I'm Sigari. Thanks a lot for checking out my block project. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I'll be happy to answer them. Have a great week.